Hey guys, welcome back to our YouTube channel. It's another sad news from Nollywood industry as one of their own passes on. We're talking about the tallest man in Nigeria whose name is Afis Agoru. Yes, he's seven feet inch tall and he has been featured in several movies, Yoruba movies, kids, comedy and so many gigs in the Nollywood industry and the comedy industry as well. Late Afis Agoru actually cried out a few weeks ago calling on well-meaning Nigerians and whoever is willing to help him to come to his aid as he needs a hip replacement surgery and it cost a lot of money. He shared a video begging Nigerians that whatever they have, they should come forth to help him with it. A few weeks after he came out to solicit for funds for his health, he also shared the improvement of how he's getting better and is doing his exercise and going through therapy. To the greatest shock of Nigerians, the news of the person of Afis Aguru came like a mighty blow. He also posted on his Instagram page thanking everyone who came through for him, letting them know that he's getting better, he's getting therapy. And this shocking news came as a huge blow. So many actors, the likes of Nadia Adikola, Claire Ford, among several other actors, have featured him in one skate of movie or the other. So many people also consider him a celebrity as they always want to take pictures with him, comparing their height with the tallest man in Nigeria. Not much is known about Mr. Afis Agoro, but thankfully, he was interviewed by several blogs and posts and here are a few things he said about himself. He had in one of the interviews that much as he is seven feet tall and it looks like an advantage to him, he'll be able to see far off and so many other people coming close to him and considering him a celebrity. The disadvantage of this is that he had issues with his legs. He said the problem is when he was in Nigeria and no doctor detected anything wrong with him and the height and the level at which he grew. But until they traveled to America, that was when doctor detected that he had an over-secreted hormone called giantism and there was nothing they could do to reverse it. At the time it was detected, all they did was give him drug to reduce it, hence it stopped the growth. In the same interview, he also shared that he wasn't the tallest in his school when he was in secondary school. But one thing he noticed that each time he gets sick, he gets taller. And that few years after, so many of his classmates saw him, they were marveled and they had to ask him, what has he been eating? I know a lot of Nigerians, including myself, wonder why Afis Aguru play basketball sports or become one of the top basketballers in the world. Well, he shared that in 1997, some white men came with his daughter to scout for players and out of 33 people that were present at the stadium, just three of them were picked and also he became number one. It said what ruined everything for him was one of the coaches who was coaching them at that time claiming that the white man didn't come through to him to make inquiry and ask about things. And on hearing this, the white man followed due process, collected their document, name, home address, and so many other details. But then that was the last he ever heard or saw the white man. And that was how he lost the opportunity of traveling abroad to become a basketballer. But at least he got his fame with his height and also featuring in movies, comedy skits, and several other gigs. News of Afis Agoro's passing shared on several blogs on social media and people reacted differently to this. Some people are claiming that celebrities and actors and actresses in the Hollywood industry should have come to his aid when he needed the help. But now he's not here. Some people also called out colleagues saying that this man called for help, no one came, but if it's to spend money anyhow, they will spend money anyhow. Considering the fact that he has been featured in several gigs and movies, it shouldn't be so hard to get the needed help. But in all honesty, Eat Afis Agora shared a video of himself thanking everyone who came through and thanking everyone who contributed to the surgery and he also shared the success of the surgery, but due to complications, he passed on. Out of the disadvantage of being seven feet tall for Mr. Afisa Agoro was that he said it was so hard for him to find a woman 
who loved him but eventually he did and she is 5'11". They have children together before his passing. He shared this in the interview saying and I quote, many ladies run away from me as a result of my height so finding a wife for a long time was tough. Now I've found a love one she is 5'11". In the same interview as mentioned earlier speaking of how he started growing Mr. Afis Agoro shared said actually I was not one of the tallest guys during my secondary school days. When we finished secondary school back in the middle 90s I started growing tall. When I'd get sick I'd grow tall. That is how the height started coming up. So some of my classmates that saw me five years after we are like, wow, Aguru, what did you go and eat? Probably if you check it, when I went to some hospitals here in Nigeria, they never detected anything wrong with me. It was until when I got to America that they tested me and told me that I have over secreted of a certain hormone called giantism. Actually, then I had overgrown the height. They could have stopped it earlier if they had detected it at an early stage. So when I got there, they couldn't do anything to it other than give me some drug to stabilize the system. So right now, no more growing. Definitely with a height like this, if you are seven feet, you are considered a giant. So most seven feeters, the problem is the leg. Growing up and you are both 40, it's not easy. The leg starts crumbling. You feel a lot of pain, like rheumatism, arthritis, the bones are also large, so cannot probably carry the upper body. You have to go on regular exercise, which is not easy. This was late Afis Agoro sharing some of the ordeals he had to face as a seven feeter. He also shared that, speaking of diet, he literally eats anything that comes his way. There are some other things you need to know about late Afis Agoro. He was unofficially and considered as the Nigeria tallest person. He was seven feet tall. He was born in December 13, 1975 at Sabo Yaba, Lagos. He was 48 at the time of his passing. Afis and his family moved to Akokayaba at age seven. Late Afis Agoro and his family moved to Akokayaba. As mentioned earlier, while growing, late Afis Agoro was a normal child when he was born wasn't with extra length or extra height but later in his life he started growing tall late Afisa Guru would have been a basketballer but he said some of the sports he liked is playing snooker loved watching movie and listening to music well, we pray that the soul of late Afis Aguru continues to rest in peace. He has gone to be with his maker. I will pray for the family, the children and wife of late Afis, that God be with them. And guys, there you have it. Do not forget to like, subscribe and drop a comment in the comment section below. Thank you. Bye.